Yo gang, what's going on? I'm the Blue Ranger and welcome back to Telltale Games Game of Thrones. We're just gonna jump back into what we were up on the wall and now we He's appear right. to be back at King's Landing. The story I, bounces all over, but I it makes love sense. King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Now, I've heard, and I haven't seen it in the show yet, but Queen I guess they do a lot wine. of secret meetings in gardens. I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. Sadly, it's just the one. A little won't hurt. Ah. So, I, uh... Tell me your troubles. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear. I'm pretty good at this. Soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been. To serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. I need, uh, I mean, if I'm a lady, I need lady friends, right? I mean, it's okay to have guy friends, but in this world, I feel like I need lady friends, so let's keep our lady friends. Much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother. I don't make a good lady, okay? I'm trying. I'm doing my best. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Tell me my wrongdoings. You need this more than I do. Uh oh. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. It... it's not what it looks like. We were just... Just airing the wine? Not the finest Arbor Red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. <laughs> 
There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords... I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> I love Tyrion so much. My lady. Like, he's a douche, but he's a douche with character and pride. I don't like the the, the assholes in these shows, or in this show, or, or the books or whatever, that... I, you just don't like. They're just bad people and they have no character. They're just like out to hurt people. Tyrion only cares about himself, but he We've makes been quite a joke here out for of an it. Hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Ah, poop. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea, Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> Tyrion had too much fun with that. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Of course. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. 
for your sake. I hope it's the former. Me too. This is either going to be awesome or the White Hills are going to murder everyone. Those are basically the two options. And uh, I'd rather the White Hills didn't murder my entire family. That would be awesome. But you can't promise anything. Ooh, we're back to these guys. Cool. Why are there so many of those cell swords running around? I mean, they're not really cell swords. They're, they're a clan of sorts, but there's a lot of them. Wait. Oh, that's just a lady. Who wants nothing to do with me? <laughs> they were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellswords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. These people want nothing to do with us. We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Don't guy in a Josie put tag on Costotti Daor. There's a lot of them. Why is there so many of them? One more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I don't think all three of these are, people I are going to get out of ready, this city. Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Okay. That's the end of that part of the, the story. For for now. Man, we jump all over the place. Back to Mirror Forester. So we have the Asha story, the Mira story, we have the story going on in Ironrath, we have the story going on at the Wall. I don't know if I'm missing any, but that's four stories happening in unison. 
Oh, wow, this is weird. Normally, with these, you just walk in a straight line. Not this time. Why did they even add that section in where I just walked in a zigzag for no reason? Telltale, why do you have those parts of your game? I don't know what I did. There was zero purpose to that other than making me feel like I was part of it or something. I don't know. There's a letter on that bed. Go read it. Peek. There's a ladder on the bed. I kind of want to know what it says. What do I just open? Yikes. Things have not gone smoothly in this room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, to be fair, I think this is where it pays off that we didn't steal anything. Because we had m like numerous chances to steal things from different characters throughout the story, and we didn't steal anything. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Should I stay or should I go now? So are we still with Mira, or was that all we're getting from Mira right now? And we're back there. in Ironrath. That should last through Lady Elena's <laughs> visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you said Wieners. Unsure They're talking about wieners. You. you just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. You're wiener. You just gotta show I her your wiener. I don't burden you with unwanted advice. Let me handle this, mother. You're right. I'm sorry. My lord, she's here. She is here! I love you, mother. Roderick? He's beautiful. He's not. You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. Now show her, her your wiener so she knows. Just... Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's how courtship works. Here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. I am so walking around pretty well. Since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Ooh-ooh! ooh I need more sleep. But Roderick, I um, I need to ask you something. Do you have when a wiener? When I arrived at Ironrath today, <laughs> your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Um. Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Boltons. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Ironrath. No, 
He just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... my father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. But I still have a wiener. Me to call it off. Have you seen my wiener? We should talk about wieners. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. Yeah! But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. My house is stronger than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive. Even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. No! If it helps, I failed! I delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, it... So, the rumors are true. Ah!